Hey, what's going on, fellow flippers and flippets? Maybe it's just fellow flippers. I haven't decided on that one yet. But anyways, guys, today I am super excited. Um, I've done a couple haul videos. Um, got a couple of little good things here and there and whatnot. But uh, today is, so far, is probably my greatest and proudest day. Um, I spent four hours today sourcing. I went to uh, one yard sale and uh, one thrift store and uh, it was a 50% off sale today so I got there like an hour early and uh, started picking up my stuff um, I did things a little bit differently today it, it really helped as far as timeline goes stuff like that but um, I'm excited to share with you what I found and uh, of course I'm gonna go from the least exciting to the most biggest score at the end so make sure you uh, stick around for the video. Um, I am a new YouTuber, guys, so uh, please help uh, show your support. Uh, clicking the sub button, like button, leave a comment. Uh, tell me what you, in my find, things that you might uh, think that was a really good find. Um, I'm, I'm pretty excited here. So we're going to go, like I said, we're going to go from the smallest to the biggest. Um, that's just because that's how you build up the excitement. So we'll start out with this. So they had a bunch of these bags, um, and uh, they are AGU fuses, 40 amps for stereos, um, and um, I did the comps on them, and they're not going for a ton. They're going for like five bucks for like one of these packs, um, but however, in these packs, it comes with six different ones, so I think if I did them for a bundle, um, I think I could probably get about, I don't know, about $20 for a bundle of like uh, all six packs. And I picked up uh, 20 of these um, for, uh, they were $3, 50% off, so I paid $1.50, so I think that would be a good return. Um, I think those should go pretty well. Um, now we're going to go with a couple other things. Um, I got a... Well, I'm not going to show it, but I did get a tennis racket for $3, and uh, comps on that's for $30, um, but I'll just let you guys know about it. So I looked over at this purse. Um, it looked pretty cool. I uh, looked inside. Um, it's brand new. Um, it's never been used or anything like that. Um, I looked at the name, uh, Anna, uh, New Approach. Um, there shouldn't be any reason why I can't get about $30 for it. Um, and again, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says $6.99, so half of that, uh, $3.50. So I think that's a pretty good come up right there. Um, I don't see any reason why this shouldn't go in pretty well. It's pretty nice. I'm not a girl, but I mean, if I was, I would, I'd wear it. Um, now I got these shoes, and if you guys maybe can help me out in the comments, because I don't know what they're called. Um, they look like chanclas or I don't I don't I don't know the brand but um, I seen some other people uh, grab these on YouTube and uh, it seemed like they did pretty well um, I couldn't find any comps on them at all uh, but you know again three dollars fifty cents they look pretty cool I don't know that one's a total gamble this is probably my only gamble that I did well no let me take that back there are a couple other gambles that I'll explain later but this is the the only one where I couldn't find any comps and and do anything. So, um, all right. So what I've learned in my time of doing this are brand names and stuff like that, um, and brand names of Affliction. Uh, let me show you the shirt here. Looks like a pretty good design. Um, it's a uh, immaculate condition. I looked it over. I didn't find anything wrong with it. So I think comps on this were around forty dollars. Trying to find the price tag. Yeah, it was a uh, five ninety nine. Again, half off. So three bucks for the shirt. I think that's a pretty good find. Um, I think. Yeah, I think I should be able to easily get. A good thirty-five, forty dollars for that shirt looks nice. The brand name, from what I understand, is really good. Um, I did pick up another. Let me see. Okay, this one here comps weren't really that high, um, but I think the 
I think it, they, they still ran around $25. Um, it's a Pierre Cardon um, shirt. Hopefully I pronounced that right. And same thing, it's really good condition. Um, and I didn't didn't pay all that much. $5.99, so yeah, $3. To totally worth it. Throw it up there. Um, it should go even if it sits, sits a little while. Trying to figure out some of these here. Uh oh. Yes, okay. Uh, Tommy Bahama. So I'll show you guys the, the shirt design on that. It's nothing too crazy or fancy, but I do figure probably good about $30 for that one there. Again, um, I paid $4. Uh, it's a good size, double XL. So I think a good $30 for that is not uh, unreasonable. Um, now this one, okay, I lied. I guess there was another shirt that I took a gamble on here. Um, and uh, it's a Cambridge shirt. Uh, it's a long sleeve. Um, it feels, I'm not too sure. I'll, I'll have to look into it a little bit. Um, yeah, it's 100% cotton. Um, it feels really nice. So I think, let me see, what was the price on this one here? Yeah, I paid a dollar for the, for this one here. So I figured for a dollar, I can move that even if it doesn't go for a super a whole lot. But yeah, extra large, I, I'm pretty sure I can get that to move. I got some colored pencils for my boy. Um, all right, uh, another jacket. It's getting winter, so I do recommend if you guys are, you know, ramping up here for uh, Q4 to uh, pick up some jackets because uh, they're going to start flying off the shelf. Um, this one is uh, authentic outerwear. Uh, Brayton, I think is how you pronounce it and uh, it's a let me see if I can show you guys a little bit better it's a pretty nice looking jacket um, I don't think it's gonna go for a huge amount um, but you know again three dollars fifty cents I could probably get a good from what I was looking at comps maybe 25 30 maybe um, I grabbed a remote, a um, little Toshiba, cost 50 cents. I'm going to throw it on there, uh, see how that works out. Um, I, haven't, I didn't Google it, I didn't get comps on this one here, but you know, I figured a Toshiba remote, you know, it should go for a little bit. Um, I got some, some Under Armour shirt uh, pretty plain Jane um, they, uh, you know everybody keeps talking about this company and how they're flying off the shelf but um, I'm not I'm not too sure on that one there maybe it's just the quality the size not the size but the shirt designs or something but I'll post it up I don't think it I mean for what I pay two dollars and fifty cents extra large you know I should be able to make a profit on that one Oh, another thing I didn't look up comps on uh, was this LA Dodgers shirt. Um, it is official gear, uh, genuine merchandise, uh, large. Um, I did pay up on this one here, uh, $4.50 on it, but um, I do know that a lot of this, this stuff does sell pretty good. So I don't know the comps on that one yet, but I, I don't see why it shouldn't do decent. All right, we're almost done with the clothes, guys, so. All right, this one here um, is a J, J Ferreira. Um, I got it because uh, it's something, you know, that I would wear. Nice button-up uh, kind of black shirt. Um, it is a double XL, um, and it was only $3. So, you know, I don't expect this one to go for a huge amount, but I do expect to make a, 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 a well-worthy profit on it. Last jacket, um, I grabbed this one up here. 
uh, Wilson's leather. Um, it is a double XL. Um, it's a pretty nice jacket. I'm a little bit thrown off on it because I did get it in the men's section. Um, but it had these belts that go around. And I'm going to have to look into that a little bit more. I didn't look up comps, but I figured for a really nice leather jacket uh, that's in really good condition. Um, that for, let me see what I pay, uh, $4.50. I'm, I'm pretty sure I can do, turn a profit on that. Um, it, it, like I said, it is really good. It has a removable liner. Um, I, like I said, I don't know the comps on that, but there's no way that I shouldn't be able to uh, turn a profit on that. These are, yeah, so that's that there. So now we could go into some more of the fun stuff. Okay, so uh, I, uh, at, like I said, I hit a yard sale. I only hit it for like five minutes. And I got, uh, uh, I got this, uh, let me see, HP. And it is a photo. Um, let me see. Yeah, it's a photo printer. Um, it's all in one LCD. Um, I looked up comps are going anywhere from about 65 to a uh, hundred bucks um, I really don't want to ship this thing so I, I am gonna put that on like offer up and uh, Facebook and see how I could do there I have sold a couple printers uh, from there before so there's no reason why I can't get fifty dollars for this thing I did test it it works perfect uh, I paid five bucks can't go wrong <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna go to my best find and my most interesting find. So I keep watching, you know, a couple of YouTubers talk about the DVD combos, uh, VHS and all that. So I ran into a store. I got this one here. Um, it is a Pioneer. Um, I did look up the comps on it. Uh, if you guys wanna look up the comps, you can. It is a DVR RT 500S. I think it's an S, something like that. Um, but these were selling for uh, sold comps on these were 120 bucks. Um, I paid 20 bucks for it. Um, I figured at 120 bucks, yeah, great. Um, I got home, I tested it, it works. So good score, good score. All right, my last item, and this is one's kind of funny. So I see this sitting up on the counter. I'm checking it out and uh, it's a karaoke vision um, and uh, it's got an MTV emblem on it and it has a I guess you do karaoke you can plug a mic into it, it has a little video camera that pops up here so I'm not too sure if you can like record a whole like movie um, or what the deal is but I did I did look up comps these were going about 65 80 um, I haven't tested this one yet because I do got to find a power cord but I think I paid like five bucks for the thing so I figured at five bucks it's worth that kind of gamble um, and as soon as I find a power cord I will I will check it out it, it looks kind of cool and interesting um, yeah there I don't know how it works I really don't but <laughs> I mean, like I said, all in all, guys, I think that was a great haul. I think I got a lot of good products. Um, I'm super ecstatic with what I found. Um, like I said, leave a, a comment. Let me know uh, what you guys think. Um, and uh, I'll make some more videos, guys. Uh, stay tuned. I am trying to make more and more videos to put out there. I have a lot of ideas, stuff like that, things that will help. Uh, um, follow me on my adventures. I got to do a catch up video and what I've sold and all that good stuff. But I do appreciate you guys watching the video. I'm pretty excited. Um, thanks for watching, guys.